Bowles has this reputation of being for coffin dodgers and all that kind of stuff, but it's hugely competitive. Far more competitive than your average man in the street would think. Everybody wants to win. You want to beat Hibs at anything, don't you? Tiddlywinks, Monopoly, just beat them at anything. Put it this way, if we've hammered them by one shot, that's great. <laughs> That'll do for me. It's a draw here at the moment, with two ends to go. It's like football in miniature, just a lot slower, that's all. This game happens every year. Started in the mid-90s. It's members only, Hearts fans and Hibs fans. Right, we're ready. We're listening up. Right, shut up, you. When it first started, the club was mainly Hibs support, but it's about 50-50 now. My name is Roy and I play for Hibs at the Bulldogs. I'm Alistair, I'm playing for Hearts. I remember when it was founded, when I was just a little boy, and my father was always playing in it. We've just kept it going. We elect a captain, he'll pick the team for Hearts and Hibs, and we'll come out and we'll play a game of bowls. I'm Sean, and I'm the captain for Hibs today. My name's Scott, proud to represent Hearts. Have a good time, and remember, we only won 5-1. It's deadly serious. Trust me, deadly serious. It's a derby match. You've got to win. Hibs have got the bragging rights. They won it last year, so we're going for two in a row. Got to pump my mind. <laughs> it's not about the trophy that's won, it's about the trophy that's lost. And what is that? It's a toilet seat. The loser has to don the seat at the end of the night, and then it goes away and it gets the loser's name gets engraved on it. Hibs definitely have the strongest team at the moment, but these things are always changing, right? Just like real life. Hearts are 6 4 up at the moment. There's no real natural order as such. It's an eeksy peeksy game so far. <laughs> Never one saw the pressure on the night. Make sure Hibs is on the trophy. Hearts is on the lavy seat. That's, that's it. to hang out with these people all year long. It's good guys and bad guys, isn't it? What's your favourite derby moment? Always remember the Russell Latta PB touch the mix with Pat Liner and then the back of the net. It's the best goal I've ever seen at Easter Road. 5 1 at Hamdan, biggest game in history in the derby, and they never even showed up. We are the football team, we play the football. They hump the ball. We have won more derbies, we've won more trophies. That's fine. Let them go and it. It makes the fall when it happens so much nicer. I hate to say it, but it is natural order. I've got some really good mates who I feel sorry for that are Hibs fans, and it, it just must be a tough life. I'll play, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. Oh, no! And you, well done. We're ten shots up. So, I'll try to pop him again. It's not looking good. Love if Pan Heath's getting away with it this year. <laughs> One of you, eh? <laughs> Unlucky, Paul. That's it, Scott's got the lavy heat on, lavy pan on his seat. Kenny! Well played, Lukey boy. Well played, well played. I don't hold a lot of stuff about, oh, it's just great to take part. No, it's not. When you get beat, 
it should hurt. And at that much, you get beat, it hurts. closest neighbours, it's your noisy neighbours, it's so important. It's ingrained in you from a young age, whether you're a Hearts or Hibs fan. The important thing is, beat Hibs. <laughs> There's nothing better than being a winner. It's a great feeling, because it's Hearts and it's Hibs. You need to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> 